these hydrogenated fats are actually worse. And the reason why they are worse is because when you have a polyunsaturated um, fatty acid, such as um, this here, uh, linoleic acid, and you hydrogenate it, sometimes the hydrogenation occurs and you end up with what's called a cis conformation and sometimes a trans. And as it turns out, um, this is called a cis. When, both of the, when you have a double bond and both of the hydrogens are on the same side, we call that a, a cis isomer because it's got the same um, chemical formula, but structurally it's slightly different, so it's a structural isomer. Um, and if the hydrogens end up on the opposite sides and the rest of the molecule is on opposite sides, then that's called trans. So there's two different ways when you hydrogenate um, a fat that your double bonds can end up. Okay, so well, if you completely hydrogenate and you completely saturate, you don't have to worry about this because you've removed all of your, um, your double bonds and it's just like any other hydrogenated uh, fatty acid that would be found in nature. But what happens is when you have a polyunsaturated, you can have some flipping around. Normally in nature, um, the, the double bonds are in the cis conformation. So right here you'd have a hydrogen and a hydrogen, and this would be R, R on the same side of the bond. Uh, that's the way it normally is. But if you um, have a polyunsaturated fat and you hydrogenate it, you can end up inadvertently making a trans fatty acid in which case um, the double bond has flipped and you have a, um, let's see, the one hydrogen down here and one hydrogen down here, and then this would be your R group down here and your R group down here, so they're trans, they're on opposite sides of the bond. Here they're on the same side, here they're on opposite sides. As it turns out, this, um, the way this double bond is in the cis conformation puts a kink, um, a kink in the, um, in the bond and so the, the fatty acids can't get as close together and so that's good. Um, then we would have what we would consider oils because they can't pack as close together. But in the trans case, they can pack closer together and even though there's a double bond here, they're still going to act like a saturated fat and pack closer together and lower the, um, the melting point. And the problem with this is for some reason, and it's not, people aren't quite sure, but a, a diet that has these trans fatty acids is worse than a diet that just has the original saturated fatty acids and cholesterol. For some reason, the trans fatty acids increase the LDL levels more than any other uh, dietary uh, change. So what they thought was better by, by making, for example, margarine um, out of vegetable oils to give the kind of consistency that, that people want in butter, because you can spread margarine like you can spread butter, actually is worse for the diet. And so there's all kinds of food science going on where, um, you know, the, the food people will use um, hydrogenated vegetable oil to make, for example, um, processed foods. Um, to get the right consistency and texture, for example, a little Debbie snack or something like that, cookie with the white stuff on the middle, would be made with instead of using lard, which is you know is is spoils faster and has cholesterol and everything else, they'd use these hydrogenated uh, vegetable oils, um, thinking that they're giving something something that's gonna have longer shelf life and everything else, but really, it's it's actually worse for you. And and they're still not quite sure. I had heard at one point it was because your body doesn't have an enzyme to recognize a trans double bond. It only can recognize a cis double bond. And they build up. Um, the, the double bonds are still there, so they're susceptible to oxidation, which then could lead to um, the formation of free radicals, which then could lead to the formation, or could lead to cancer. There's all kinds of, of reasons why people think that it's a problem, they're not quite sure yet. All they know is that it is a problem. And as a matter of fact, there's legislation right now, um, because the legislature in Texas is in session right now, um, somebody from the Dallas area has introduced a bill to remove all trans fatty acids from school lunches or um, school vending machines. Okay, because there's so much evidence saying that trans fatty acids are bad for you. And over the last five years, you'll notice that a lot of snack foods, they now say, contains no trans fatty acids, um, contains no hydrogenated uh, fats. But you have to be really careful because, um, because even the, the, the guideline of the FDA is if it's less than 0.5%, they can say no, and there really might be some still in there. So you have to be real careful with processed foods.
Okay, so the trans fatty acids in it are acting more like saturated fats and seem to increase bad cholesterol in the blood. That's the moral of the story. So here's the way oleic acid and natural fatty acid looks with the cis conformation, and here's elaidic acid, a trans fatty acid that would be the result of a hydrogenation, hydrogenation uh, of um, of a vegetable oil. Okay, these are not found in nature. Trans fatty acids are not found in nature. They are a product of food processing and they're very bad for you.